Animals have some pretty wild ways to protect themselves from danger. Take the bombardier beetle, for example. It can blast hot, toxic chemicals from its rear end to scare off predators. Spitting cobras have a sneaky defense by shooting venom from their fangs straight into the eyes of attackers, blinding them. Then there's the hagfish, which releases a slimy goo that chokes predators, giving it a chance to escape. Exploding ants literally burst their own bodies to release sticky goo that traps enemies. Horned lizards have sharp spines and can squirt blood from their eyes, freaking out predators. These animals sure know how to defend themselves. Stay tuned to discover the fatal ways animals protect themselves in the wild. First up, the Komodo Varan. The Komodo Varan, aka the Komodo Dragon, is like a real-life dragon with its split tongue. It lives on the Indonesian islands of Komodo and has a big mouth with 60 sharp teeth. Even though its bite isn't poisonous, their teeth contain pieces of rotting meat that makes it a home to all types of pathogens. Its one bite will cause some of the most chronic infections. Definitely, it's not the kind of lizard you'd want to get close to. Death Stalker Scorpions Death Stalker Scorpions are the world's most venomous scorpion. They have a stinger with venom that's really powerful. Stingers contain a fatal neurotoxin that can paralyze any animal that it comes in contact with. If it gets you, you might feel numb and swell up. It can even stop your heart. Its venom is said to be so strong, it can put a human being into a coma and cause massive turbulence. So even though they're small, don't mess with them. Spitting Cobras Spitting cobras are unique compared to other spitting animals because instead of spewing vomit or shooting venom straight up, they use their venom defensively. When they feel trapped, they aim their two venom-filled holes at their attacker's weak spots, their eyes. By jerking their heads, they unleash their cytotoxic venom, which can destroy any cell it touches. Now, the bombardier beetle. Bombardier beetles have an amazing defense mechanism. When they get scared, they shoot out a hot, smelly, noxious chemical spray from the tip of their abdomen. It's like a little explosion. This spray comes from a special chemical they make inside their body. This bug can shoot this chemical mixture in all directions. And when they spray it, their abdomen shrinks by 70%. And the spray is so hot, it can even give you a bad burn if it touches you. Now the skunk. Skunks are furry creatures that belong to a family of mammals. There are different kinds of skunks and they vary in appearance. But one thing they all have in common is their warning coloration. Skunks have a yucky way to protect themselves. They can spray a stinky liquid from their bottoms when they're scared. This liquid smells really bad because it is a mix of smelly chemicals like sulfur. Skunks spray their stinky stuff at animals that try to eat them. They also bite, which can make animals sick with rabies. Hagfish The hagfish is like a living time traveler, hanging around for about 300 million years. They're big, wormy creatures with super sharp teeth, but teeth aren't their only trick. When a bigger fish tries to eat them, a hagfish will wrap around it and squeeze it until it can't breathe. They also ooze out a slimy stuff that turns into a gooey mess in the water. When this goo gets into a predator's body, it blows up and stops them from breathing. So when they attack, they turn their predator into their next meal. Fulmer If you think you know the most fatal defense mechanism of any animal, you might want to reconsider. Because now on the list, we've got the Fulmer. They have the most original but nasty defense mechanism. They seriously repel their attacker by vomiting on them. They create a concentrated, oily liquid in their stomach and then spit it on the face of their attacker if necessary. 
Yeah, it's exactly how it is. Totally gross, but effective. This liquid clogs up the wings of aerial predators. Exploding ants. Exploding ants are found in Malaysia's rainforests in 2018. Don't let their small size fool you. When their colony is in danger or threatened, they make a big sacrifice. They literally explode to defend their home, releasing a poisonous sticky fluid from their bodies. It's a weird yet powerful defense, but sadly, it's deadly for them too. Pygmy Slow Loris The tiny Pygmy Slow Loris might look super cute with its big round eyes and all, but don't be fooled. It's a deadly little creature. When it feels threatened, it raises its paws up high, not to surrender, but to defend itself. It's got a secret weapon too, glands on its elbows that ooze a poisonous liquid. They spread this poison all over themselves to scare off enemies. And they can even use it to deliver a nasty bite that can really mess you up. Yep, they may be small, but they're definitely not to be messed with. Marble Cone Snail The marble cone snails are fascinating creatures. They have a sneaky way to defend themselves. Their breathing tube, called a siphon, helps them smell danger. Plus, they have a secret weapon in their proboscis, a tiny harpoon made of venom. When they feel threatened, they shoot this harpoon at their enemy. It's like a tiny needle that injects paralyzing venom. So it's best to admire these snails from afar and not collect them if you see them at the beach, especially the cone snails. Potato Beetle The potato beetle, also known as the Colorado beetle, spends its winters hiding five to 10 feet underground in potato fields, which is why it's called that. These bugs have a gross way of defending themselves. They use their poop. Yup, they spread it all over their bodies to make them smell bad and be toxic. This poop power comes from eating poisonous plants called nightshades. So if anyone eats these beetles, they're in big trouble. Now, the Iberian Ribbed Newt. The Iberian Ribbed Newt defends itself in a crazy way. These amphibians push their ribs through their skin to make sharp spikes. These spikes are covered with poison. So when a predator tries to eat them, they get a nasty surprise. But the newts don't get hurt. Their ribs go back to normal and their skin heals over time. Researchers have seen these newts walk away without a scratch after using this defense. Geckos. Geckos are tiny lizards that eat meat and live all over the world except Antarctica. When they get scared or a bigger animal tries to eat them, they just shed their skin and slip away easily. Scientists saw this happen in 2014 when two geckos were spotted. The big one caught the little one, but the little one got away by shedding its skin in just 30 seconds. Scientists think geckos do this to escape from snakes and other geckos at night. Pangolin The pangolin, sometimes called the scaly anteater, might seem like a reptile, but it's actually a scaly-skinned mammal. Covered in tough scales from head to toe, it knows how to use them for protection. When threatened, it tucks its head under its front legs, showing off its scales to scare away any danger. If someone tries to touch it, it curls up into a tight ball, using its sharp tail scales to defend itself. Many predators have tried to break open a pangolin ball, but they always fail. Japanese Bees Japanese bees are like superheroes protecting their honey. When a mean hornet tries to steal their sweet treasure, the bees gang up on it. They give the hornet a big group hug and raise the temperature to a toasty 47 degrees Celsius. The hornet can't handle the heat and gets cooked, while the bees stay cool as cucumbers. It's like a bee sauna, but not so relaxing for the hornet. Ribbon worms. 
Ribbon worms have a cool defense move. They use their insides to scare away bad guys. When a predator comes too close, they stick out this long tube thingy called a proboscis. It moves all by itself, freaking out the predator. Plus, they're slimy and full of venom. So if a predator tries to mess with them, they get paralyzed. Then the ribbon worm just jets out of there, leaving its proboscis behind. But no worries, it can grow back. Horned Lizards Horned lizards have three amazing ways to protect themselves. First, they can blend into their surroundings to hide from flying predators. Second, they puff themselves up to look bigger and spiky. But the weirdest one? When they face a predator way bigger than them, they shoot blood from their eyes. They do this by controlling the blood flow to their head, making the pressure build up until it squirts out. It can go up to five meters high, scaring off attackers. Well, that's all for today. Tell us in the comments section which animal amazed you the most. Also, subscribe to Wild Spot for more amazing content, and we'll see you next time.